Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to your March 2023 You versus Them reading. So this side would be your energy. This side would be the person that's on your mind, the person you're thinking about, the person you want to know about. In the middle will be your energy, your combined energy, how you're both feeling. Okay, now we're going to start with you. So what is currently going on with you? Let's see. What is currently going on with you? You're walking away from something here. You might be going into a new partnership and you're going to be celebrating this. So currently you're thinking about this or in the process of leaving something behind, changing something. Something's no longer fulfilling for you. So you want to partner up with someone. It could be a business partnership. It could be you know, a love partner. This is what your current energy is. But you will be celebrating this. It's got two threes together. <clears throat> yeah, an ending. You need to um, end something. It's no longer fulfilling. It's done. Okay, let's clarify. We have justice. Okay, justice will be served. Libra energy. And as far as the three of pentacles, we have their five of cups. You know, it feels like you want something new here. There's You took a loss here. And um, someone might be having a lot of regret and remorse too over you leaving here what about um the three of cups five of pentacles yeah it feels like whatever you left here they really someone really felt the the loss of you two let's say we're two threes and now two fives and we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's something from the past. Someone that you left behind. I don't know if you did this recently. Because I'm trying to do this as your most recent energy. But this is what's coming up the strongest for you right now. But it also could be that someone's really thinking heavy about you leaving a situation. This could be a work situation. This could be a home situation. This could be a love situation. Okay, so now. What is currently going on with the person that you're thinking about? What is happening with them? There's something moving quick with them. Ooh. They might be moving quickly to end something here in the present time. Or there's some kind of communication about ending something because they want to maybe put an offer out there to you or an offer to someone. Or maybe an offer is coming in for them. Page of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. I can get a charm on that. We have an owl. This is wisdom. Something wise coming in here. You know, I mean, the owl could also represent something ending, too. So this person is almost like saying, I'm saying goodbye to this. I'm ending this. It almost feels like I'm feeling the energy of good riddance. It's like, <laughs> usually um, I get the owl. It's just wise communication. And um, here we have some kind of commitment. This person's interested in a commitment. Okay. So why do we have the eight of wands here? This person almost feels like they're freeing themselves here. So whatever that's going on here, they're moving quickly out of it. almost feels like they're releasing themselves some, so they can have their independence. Okay, now why is the Ten of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles. They might be um, contemplating and coming towards you an offer or they're... Or someone's coming towards them. It's your current energy. But I think that since they're ending something, they might be thinking about trying to um, plan something here. Really thinking about it. Taking their time, though. They're not going to rush anything. This could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at a charm on this. Ah, the dragon. Wisdom. Powerful. They feel um protective. Let me get the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so now why do we have the Page of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. They're looking for a long-term commitment. 
or else if someone's coming towards them they're thinking about a long-term commitment i have here justice okay you both have the justice card that's very interesting okay now let's go into your thoughts about them what your thoughts about them Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we have here the Ten of Pentacles, Lovers, and the Chariot. Your thoughts are about you like to be in a connection with this person. You want commitment here. Um, the Lovers, um, Gemini Energy, Chariot, Cancer Energy, you, you probably want something to happen here quickly. And you might be in your Queen of Swords, or maybe you're thinking of them being in the Queen of Swords. Someone wants the truth here, whichever way this goes for you guys. But this is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Let's clarify. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Swords. Well, this is interesting. Your thoughts are that you want to be in a commitment with this person, but there is other energies that you're not trusting in this situation. They might be gossiping. They might be um, sabotagers. Um, yeah, they cause havoc. They like to start trouble. Five of Swords. Five is changed. We got three fives here. Wow. Definitely some kind of change coming in for you. What about the lovers? Ten of Wands. This has been a burden. This energy of this person or thinking about this person has been a burden. You want to end to the burden here. Also a choice here. You may have a choice to make. Okay, what about this chariot? The Hierophant. Commitment. You have two um, strong cards for commitment. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Hierophant, which is also Taurus energy. The Sun. They make you happy. Okay. Leo energy. Okay, now let's go to their side. And what are their thoughts about you? They want a victory with you. They hold you in very high regard when they think about you. They're undecisive of how to make this happen. And they also see you as very loving, caring, nurturing, and very probably intuitive too. Queen of Cups. Um, this be Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Let's see. There's a lot of love this person feels for you when they think about you. They see you as very loving and caring. Okay. We have try, taking a second look at something. Trying to figure out how to make something work. Um, I think this person does a lot of it. Analyzing. Rethinking. Contemplating. That's why they're in this two of swords here. Okay. So now let's see. Let's clarify this six of wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? See, we have the Seven of Swords. I don't know. They, they might be hiding something or keeping their feelings back from you. There's something here that's kind of deceptive. Or maybe they're thinking of you're being very deceptive. You might be holding back your feelings. Okay, what about the Two of Swords? Poof, the Two of Swords. This person's totally confused. They don't know what to do. They're stuck. Okay, what about the Queen of Cups? The Hermit. They see you as the Hermit, keeping to yourself, um... You're not really opening up to them. They don't know maybe what you're doing or what you're up to. Virgo energy. Yeah, it almost feels like a I'm feeling like a blockage here. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Seven of Cups, and they probably fear you have a lot of options too. They're kind of concerned about that. Is there someone else? Are there other options for you? Okay, now let's go on to your feelings. Oh, I'm going to be knocking these all over. 
your feelings on it. A little bit more. Okay, your feelings for your person. Remove it. <coughs> um, remove um, Remove it. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say the word. Um, losing space here. I don't know why I'm saying removing. That must mean something. What does that mean? Removing something. Okay, here we have you, you have a lot of love for this person. Ooh. Look at this uh, opportunity with them. You see them as the king of pentacles. May you see them as somebody stable, reliable. This is the first court card on your side. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the lion. You see him as strong? Or... You're, or maybe your feelings are strong towards him. Either you see him as very strong. You probably do see him as very strong. But you also might have very strong feelings towards them. I like how the lion's looking that way, too. Let's see. The king of pentacles. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe they're very stable. Maybe they're um, doing well financially next to the ace of pentacles. But here at the sneaky five again, you don't trust something. I think it's people around them. Or some kind of energy here. Maybe there's some kind of sabotaging energy. Something you don't trust. Okay. So let's clarify. Ace of Cups, a lot of love. Your, your cup is overflowing with love for this person. King of Pentacles. Okay, very strong earth sign here. This is coming on very strong. Okay, and we have here the angel. You might feel divinely guided to this person, or you might even feel like they are angel. Heaven sent. Um, King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What about this Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. It almost feels like you have to be on the defensive here for something, maybe because of your money or some kind of opportunity here. But you are standing above the rest, or you feel like this person is standing above the rest. I'm feeling two energy. I'm feeling either you're standing, you, know, you have to protect yourself somehow. It almost feels like maybe you have to protect your money. Or may you feel them being very protective of their money. You have two King of Pentacles here. So this person could be doing quite well. Could be their own boss. Okay, let's clarify this other King of Pentacles here. Judgment. So I think you feel like you want this to come back around here. I think also, it feels like, okay, we have the Queen of Swords to come up here again. So it's like, you know, you might be feeling a little unsure. You, I think you have a lot of feelings for this person, but you're not trusting everything. Um, there's something that has to be straightened out with the Judgment card here. There might be a truth that has to be spoken first. Okay, let's do this. Go over to their side and see their feelings for you. I don't even, let me move these up. I put a lot of cards on the table for this spread, so just move this up a little. Their feelings for you. This person is very under, undecided. Oh my god, they're holding on to them. They might be keeping their feelings to themselves. Here we have the King of Swords. Ooh. I think they're trying to be very logical. Hangman, they're under, this person is very undecisive. Pisces energy, they're waiting for something. They might be waiting for you. Or they're waiting for a different perspective. They're trying to they're trying to learn something is what I'm feeling here. They're trying to understand something. Let me get something on this. King of Swords. Okay, a key here. Almost feels like they have to be very logical with you. Um, I think you're both very intelligent. You match that way. So you probably you might both be trying to think what the other one's thinking. <laughs> okay, that's not always easy to do. Let's see. Let's see here. What about the two of pentacles? Why is the two of pentacles here? The tower. I feel like this person has a very strong feeling something has to change, something has to move, but they're not moving. 
but they want something to change. We have Aries, Scorpio, and something might, they might be afraid of something falling apart, something being exposed maybe, being revealed. It's going to be different for everyone, but there, I think there's a lot of different people that have different things that they're afraid of with a tower showing up here. Okay, what about this Four of Pentacles? There has to be movement. I'm feeling they want movement here. Eight of Wands. They want communication. They want to be able to talk about things. But they're also blocking the communication because they don't talk. And that is an issue. This person probably doesn't like to open up. And they're keeping blocked. We have the Four of Pentacles keeping something to themselves. And also movement. So these are like two opposites. So there's a struggle going on with this person. This person is like wishy-washy or back and forth. What about this um, King of Swords? Justice. They want justice in situation. They want to speak their truth. Their feelings for you is that they have to speak their truth to you. They have to bring justice in this situation. They have to have movement. Something has to change. They can't stay stagnant forever. But they're not moving either. And we have here temperance. See, they're being patient. See, they're waiting for you. They're, they're, they're waiting for you to make a move. They're being patient. But I think they're getting very frustrated too at the same time. Okay, let's go over. What action might, ooh boy, look at this. They came flying out. What action might you take toward this person? Okay, we got the sun, happiness. We have wanting something to balance out here. Want to even give and take on this situation. Leo energy with the sun. And we have... Maybe you might go towards them quickly here. Oh, we got the tower on your side now. Wow. Sudden change. Maybe you might surprise them. Okay, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Going towards them quickly. Wanting to come oh, we got two here. We have, okay, we have the, okay. I feel like, hmm, it might feel like, okay, you want to take control of this situation or you're thinking the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. There's a, this is a destined love or some of you might be feeling I, I know this is the action you're supposed to be taking but I'm feeling that someone's also feeling that if they come towards me I will I will um, consider this because if they did you wrong you say I'm not going to them they're the one who messed up which is tr correct if that's what happened let's see in your case we have the knight of wands but we do have this tower here Something happens suddenly or some kind of surprise. You might surprise them or they, or it might take some kind of sudden something happening in order for you guys to come together. Maybe you're thinking, let's see, Go on this side. Okay, why is the sun here? This card wanted to flop, so let's see. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an offer here. Maybe a gift. Page of Pentacles. We have here um, a sewing machine. So that's mending or putting pieces together. They'll be you'll be happy to mend this situation, I think, or find out what the how the pieces fit, how the pieces are are meant to be together here. I almost feel like you're meant to mend this. Someone's trying to, you know, I don't know. They, I feel, I'm getting two things that you want to do something. You want to go towards this person and offer for some of you. And some of you are like saying, no, this person has to come towards me. Because every time I'm, I'm asking questions in my head here to my guides and the angels. And I get an answer and then I get, no, there's another one. <laughs> so I'm getting two, like, <laughs> two things coming to me. Okay, we do have the King of Swords. Okay, so this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. We have here, we have the, the little um, elephant with a heart upside down here on it. There's memories that are also feels like this is upside down. This is not correct. Something has to be straightened out. I think there, you feel like there's a truth that has to be spoken. I don't know. Some of you might want to go towards this person, but I really feel a strong energy if someone wants this person to come towards them i think you might be waiting on each other to make a move here which is going to be keeping you in a standstill here okay why is the knight of wands here 
Ace of Wands. A lot of passion, desire, though. And we have here, and the King of Cups. Also a lot of love here. But the King of Cups doesn't always express their emotions. They keep things to themselves. Okay, I could put a charm on this one because I'll put it here. And a deck. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's get a charm here. Oh, we got two. We have the Seahorse, New Love, and also Partner for Life, and, you know, uh, the Arrow. This, it most feels like, the, you know, you, your love is meant for this person, you feel. Okay. King of Cups. Okay, let's go over to their side. What action might they take towards you? Devil, Capricorn Energy, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, options. Okay. Now, this person might come. They're they're really obsessing over this, this connection, and they there's two things that I'm getting here. They might come in here with some some kind of big offer here, some kind of opportunity. Figuring you might have a lot of other options, and they might be willing to walk away from this. Because they're afraid you might have too many other options and, and you might pick someone else. So there, or they might be thinking about right now just letting this be and just walking away. Why is the devil here? I think this person is obsessively thinking about this. <coughs> Sorry, I got tickled. Hmm. You are in their wish fulfillment here. Take a sip of water. And they like to, maybe they like to go out for drinks here too. Nine cups. I gotta stop this if I could cough. That was a, that's a very irritating cough. I feel like this person's very irritated. Okay. What about the Ace of Pentacles? King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords and Queen of Swords is coming up a lot. So I think they really do want to speak their truth to you, with you, or come towards you with an offer and with some kind of truth. <clears throat> King of Swords. Okay. Peace. They want to make peace between you two. Have a peaceful conversation and speak their truth. What about the Seven of Cups? Judgment. Wow, you both got the judgment card. Yeah, something has to come. <clears throat> something has to be discussed. Something has to come out in the open. There's something. A second look. A, um, um, hmm. We have the high priestess. Okay. I think this person also feels like you have a very uh, strong connection. Or there's secrets. They might be worried about secrets. This person feels very unsure. I almost feel like they're hiding something here. And they're probably afraid of something coming out. Also, it could be that maybe either you or them, someone is very intuitive. But it also, I feel like you guys have a very strong connection here. You might be not talking in the, the 3D, but you might be connected in the 5D. I feel like I'm leaving this unfinished here. I want to put something else on here before I go on to the energy between the two of you um okay let me take this deck give me more about this person's feelings i feel like something's hidden here like, tell me more and that, like of course high priestess it might be saying you're not supposed to know anymore so i might be pushing it so i'm gonna just try to see i get three more cards on let me just get three cards on why the devil is here. I want to know why the devil is here. I mean, it could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see. Divine time. Greater forces at play. Release control. All is working out for the highest good. Okay, I like that. And then we have renewal. New life. Fresh starts. Rejuvenation. Healing after crisis. Sacral chakra. So there's something going on. So there's something very strong here. And then we have dream messages. 
telepathy, 5D communication, astral travel, spirit guides, science. Yeah, you guys are connecting. There's a very strong connection here. I think this person is very confused by that. And because they they feel it, and they never felt that with anyone else before, and it's confusing. And we have distance. Retreat, timeout, blocked, emotional, or physical distance. So there's definitely a distance between you guys. Okay, I'm glad I grabbed that deck to clarify because that makes sense here. Okay, now let's see what the energy is between the two of you. What's going on between the two of you? The mutual energy. What is the mutual energy? New love. Potential love connection awaits. Now this could be renewal of a love too. You might be starting from scratch if something was not working or maybe you're having a new love come in. Hmm. But this is supposed to be the energy between the two of you. So I think it's a renewal of love. Like start fresh. Confusion. That's definitely here. They're definitely confused. This person doesn't know how to. Um, and sexual union. Okay. You both want this sexual union. And there's the deceptions. I've been feeling that on your side. Not trusting this person. That's why I think this person is confused. There's something that happened. And this person I also feel. They might feel like you have. You're very intuitive. And they don't know what you know. And I think that's, I'm feeling that very strongly here. Okay, let's see what the word is. Okay, and what's the word for you guys? Let's, the Knight of Pentacles. So let's scoop on this Knight of Pentacles. Alone. Fear. Closure. Okay. This person wants, and right now they're in their energy here, they're, they feel fear of being alone or they feel that there's something they are ending something though and even though they're ending something they might be fearing this closure because they might feel that they have to end this may they have to end a connection in order to come towards you but they're afraid that once they end it they'll be by themselves that you won't want them what about the page of cups before marry expose Something was exposed before they were married or maybe maybe someone wants to get married and they're afraid something's going to be exposed. Or maybe it was exposed that someone was married before and maybe you didn't know that. Okay, what about the Queen of Cups? Just take what resonates. We have here drama keeps the money family oh so there might be some kind of drama going on with the family and someone might end up keeping money yeah something's going on but this is um also the queen of cups here so it could be yeah something with the family here someone's trying to keep money so this person might be trying to do something but there might be a, a lot of money involved okay let's see we have here yeah, money's changing hands here, whatever that may mean to you. Okay, let's get over to the King of Pentacles. What's going on with the King of Pentacles? <clears throat> Healing. A tower. Sex. Okay, so there's some kind of surprise. Definitely, you both had the tower. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. There's some kind of healing sex. Maybe after a surprise or change, maybe it's going to be healed through sex. Or someone that's the way someone wants to heal things. Or, hmm. Okay, let's see. What about this other King of Pentacles? Mature. TikTok. Someone feels like they're running out of time. And we have another tower. Wow. There's a bunch of surprises here. Someone might do something here because they feel like they're running out of time. This is your feelings towards them. This row right here. So TikTok. Running out of time. Someone matured. Maybe someone feels like, yeah, that they're, they're getting older. This could be for an older person. And saying they have to do something because they're maturing here. Or they're more mature. Or it might be, okay, they're more mature now. They Now they can make a move because they're... I'm not going to do something immature. I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of all different ways it could mean because it is for all different people. What about the Page of Pentacles? We have here admitted karma thoughts. Okay, someone's going to be thinking that maybe someone's getting their karma. What about the King of Swords? Expect committed player. Okay, so maybe you're thinking that this person is committed to being a player. Or maybe they're a player that now wants commitment. They can help rest things with your situation. What about this King of Wands? We have denying. Oh my gosh, you got the other tower. Denying something happening here that's unknown. Some kind of surprise. Something's going to happen. Something might be exposed. That was unknown. And someone's going to be denying something here. Okay, what about this King of Cups? <clears throat> I think something's definitely coming out here. Okay. We have obsessed. New start. Sincere. Okay, so I would think someone's going to be sincere and they're obsessed that they want a new start. Okay, now the King of Swords. Now again, we go, a lot of this could be vice versa here too. So, King of Swords, we have Breakup, Caring, Hitting. Okay, so I think some this might have been a breakup because someone cared how much they really hid. I'm, oh. <laughs> someone hid how much they really cared. You believe I did that opposite? That is weird. Okay, <laughs> maybe it makes sense. Or yeah, someone could have. Now that could make sense though, actually. Because someone could have cared how much they actually hid something. Because maybe they had to for some reason. And they really didn't want to. But they had to because of other circumstances. Hmm. Tell me if that makes sense. Because that was really weird the way it came out. And I sometimes I have no control over the words. Because I am, you know, tapping into my angels and guides. And sometimes they come out weird. And actually it's meant to be that way. It doesn't say, I wouldn't have said that. Okay, lying, past, never. Okay, maybe someone's going to say they never lied in the past. Um, never lying. That's why I get more than anything. Never. I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to... I, I, when I start trying... Now, this... I actually put it on the High Priestess, too. So, that's interesting. So, that means there's something maybe I'm not supposed to go into it more. So, um, you'll know. Rearrange the words. Make sense another way. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs for Aquarius? What are the signs? Scorpio. Pisces. Taurus. Sagittarius. I think I'll just put this one over here. Capricorn. And Pisces. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in their chart, past, present, and future. Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Now we'll do the letters. We'll do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial and they have a middle name and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have C, N, M, D, T, R, L, Z, C, W, M. Okay, so letters we have today are C, N, M, D, T, R, L, Z, C, W, M. Okay. Now, 11 more names. Let's see what names. Oops. Roxanne jumped out. <laughs> Come on, guys. I think I have enough. They don't want to jump, so I start pulling. Okay, let's see here. So we have Roxanne, Christina, Jesse, 
Daisy, Andrea, A N, I'm sorry, A D R I E N N E, Lilia, L I L I, L I L I A, Larry, Caroline, Pedro, Walter, and then we have Mike. Terrell, T-E-R-R-E-L-L, -L, and Elena. Okay, so we have 13. All right, guys, so those are names. And remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Maybe something might resonate with you more in the other places. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.